Hey everybody! Wow, it's so interesting to see myself so blonde on camera, but as you can tell, I am back to do another wig video. And this one is with a company I haven't worked with before. It is Everyday Wigs. I will leave them a link down below. It's my first time trying out a piece from them, and I will be reviewing this one for you guys. Okay, so when I was selecting a wig to try out, I definitely had summer in mind. I was thinking I wanted something blonder, because when I have a tan, this won't look quite so blonde on me, although this is definitely blonder in person than I thought it would be. And I wanted waves, because I really enjoyed wearing wavy hair toppers and wigs last summer, so I wanted to kind of continue the trend. So let me tell you the name of this first. This is the 24 inch, so it's super long, which you guys know I love, Ash Blonde highlight wavy synthetic lace front wig. I read that from the website down below here. I will link this specific wig down below as well. Now the reason I want to try out everydaywigs.com is because these are so affordable. I wanted to see what the quality is like for the price. This one, for example, is $96 and they have tons that are way, way even more affordable than this one. So that is the price range that we're working with. Obviously this is a synthetic piece. I'm seeing on their website they do have human hair wigs as well. And for synthetic they have lots of fun colors too. If you like the ombre wigs or blue wigs or whatever spectrum of color you like, they have the natural colors as well, but they have the fun colors too. Okay, I'm going to tell you the information from the website and then I will show you guys this wig and tell you my thoughts. So, like I said, it's 24 inches. The texture is silky wavy. Uh, the density is 150%. So this definitely has a ton, a ton of hair. This is not definitely not a lightweight piece. Um, hairline, natural hairline, cap sizes, all sizes available. Cap construction is a glueless lace front cap, so I will come in and show you that. Um, it's heat resistant silk is what it's made of, and I think that's it. As far as uh, shipping times, this shipped to me extremely fast, so there was no delay in that. And I think that's all I'm saying here on the website. Whew, okay, let's show you this piece up close. I'm saying whew, because it's a lot of hair. I was not expecting this. So it is a lace front, as you can see here. This piece actually came with all the hair kind of combed backwards. So that was the way it was. I have not worn this out yet. I have just worn it in the house. I'm kind of playing around with it at this point. As you can see, I'm trying to create somewhat of a side part just because that's how I tend to wear my hair pieces. So I feel like this might be one that I have to wash in order to get it to lay down flatter. So that's what we're working with up there. But there's the lace front sitting on my forehead. The color obviously is incredibly blonde. I do like the highlights, like the caramel type highlights through it, but it's definitely, this would be like a going out piece for me if I was going somewhere fun or Vegas or something like that. This would not be an everyday piece for me just because the color is quite platinum on me and it is a super long one. But you know what, I like having these fun pieces in my life because sometimes I just feel like wearing a super long wig and being a completely different person. So that's kind of the fun of wearing hair toppers and wigs. Um, as for the quality, I mean, it doesn't feel like real hair. I will give it that, but it doesn't feel bad either. I can run my fingers through it. Nothing's coming out of it. It's not catching on my fingers at all. It feels smooth and silky. It's just, it's not, it's not real human hair because it's not marketed that way. It's not real human hair. This is a synthetic piece and um, it's just kind of fun. I don't know, I'm really enjoying playing around with wigs. So it's just kind of one of those fun things. I don't know, you guys will have to tell me what you think. Is this too far out of the box for me? Is this too, too much for me? Let me know. <laughs> Look at all the curls. So it did come this way. I have run my finger through my fingers through it a little bit just to kind of break it up. To me, this is more curly than wavy, but honestly, I quite like it. So that's what it looks like there. As for cap size, I think I was sent the average cap size, but I think I really need a petite because there is extra room. I'll show you this. Um, as I take it off, I'm wearing a wig cap underneath and there's just a lot of extra room. Even though I've tightened it, it's adjustable. I just think I have a smaller head. So that's definitely something I should keep in mind. And here, I'll give you the spin around before I take it off. All right, I don't know how much you can see back there of the length, but this is what the curl pattern looks like in the back. That's how long it is there. So it's a ton of hair. I feel like I might be able to do a really cute like half up Kind of look with it. I don't know. I need to play around with it some more. It does have that somewhat shiny look because it is synthetic hair, but there are products that I can use to kind of bring down the shine. And usually once I wash something that it takes down the shine as well. So 
All right, let's take it off for you guys. There are two clips on the side here that I put underneath my wig cap. And I'm just going to pull it off of my wig cap like so. Okay, here she is. That is a ton of hair. So if you're looking for a very dense and full wig, I mean these come in a ton of different colors, a ton of different um, textures as far as straight, wavy, curly, things like that. So it's just one of those fun wigs. That's what it looks like there. Here is the lace front. I cut the lace right up to where the hair started. I might have to play around with the hairline itself just because these portions here um, are quite large on me. So I'm thinking of possibly taking down the side of this a little bit just so that it fits my head a little bit better because there is room to play with. As you can see, the lace comes out this far from where the cap actually starts. Here are the two clips that I put in the side. There's also a clip on top as well. I'll try and get you a close up of the lace. For such a blonde wig, it does have a nice light lace, which is good, so you're not going to see the lace sitting right on top of your head. On the inside, that's what the inside looks like. It's nice and stretchy, so it does have give to it. It is breathable, but keep in mind, it's a lot of hair. It's 150% density, so it's, it's going to get hot if you wear it all day, that's for sure. This is not something that I would be wearing all day. It would just be like a special event type thing. Here are the two adjustable clips down there. Is there anything else I wanted to show you on this? I think that's pretty much it. I'll show you the box that came in as well. All right, so here is the super cute box that it came in. Love the floral print. It came with a brush in it as well. I haven't brushed it out yet just because I'm worried that the curls might get too, too big. So I'm trying just to use my fingers, but it is really nice that it came with that and it came with a wig cap as well. All right, so I think that's about it on the everydaywigs.com review. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, check out their website because everything is really, really affordable. Um, I'm even seeing their human hair wigs here range from like 150 to $200, which is really, really cheap for human hair. So I would definitely be interested in trying one of those out just to see what the hair quality is like. Is this something that I would be wearing every day? No, but what I wear, yeah. I like having super long, platinum blonde curls. It's just, it's something, I mean, as somebody who's always had thin hair and then especially with everything I went through and my hair falling out, it's always been a dream to just have different hair options. So I really enjoy playing around with wigs and kind of making different looks and things like that. That being said, it's a very dense piece and it's going to be very hot. So it's not something that I would wear every day, but it is a fun piece nonetheless. So let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. Bye.